hello everyone so this is just a trial video and after the review i will be uploading further more videos for those students who are getting promoted from class 11 to class 12 so in this video we will be finding out the time period of a spring and block system but here the spring is heavy and the mass of the spring is small m the spring is uniform that is the mass is uniformly distributed so the variation will be linear so initially we learned that the time period for a spring block system where the spring is massless is 2 pi root over k by m where k being the spring constant of the spring and m being the mass of the block only as the spring were considered to be massless but in this video we'll be find out but in this video we'll find out the time period when the spring will contain mass of value small m okay so let us consider at any instant the speed of the capital m mass is v and we know the speed at this connection point is zero okay so let us consider an element at a distance y having length dy and let the speed of that element be u so as we know that the speed will increase linearly from here to here as speed at this point is zero and speed of the block is v so the speed increases from zero to v linearly so at any distance y the speed will be v minus zero by l into y but l x nothing but the spring length we don't need to worry about the length of the spring as we know it is changing but it will get cancelled out eventually so let's start okay so let dm be the mass of that elementary portion which should be equal to small m by l into dy let us find out the kinetic energy of the whole spring so that we can replace it with some effective mass let dk be the kinetic energy of that element of the spring which will be equal to half dm into u square now dm is nothing but m by l u square into dy we have kept u square inside the integration as we know that u is as a function of y so we'll for the whole spring we'll integrate it from 0 to l we'll put the value of u from this equation so it will become y square into dy and integrating from 0 to l we'll get half mv square by l cube into l cube by 3 so as you can see this l cube and this l cube gets cancelled out so the final result becomes into v square so now as you can see you can replace that heavy spring with an effective mass of m by 3 so now the total time period of this system can be represented as something like this 2 pi root over mass of the block and the effective mass of the spring divided by k so basically you can see that we are just replacing this whole figure with something like this but this will be capital m plus small m by 3 so in this case both the systems are same but here the spring is considered massless as we have replaced it with its effective mass so this formula you can memorize and as you have seen the derivation so i hope you have a clear con clear concept about this please do review this video i hope this is this was a very helpful video for you thank you